Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. Bring the A game, not your gay game. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? That's Dante Black. Songbird. Well, I just, I can't get an introduction into it. Hey, this is Songbird. This, everyone, is thy Songbird. The gayest of the gay. The original black unicorn. Chubby black unicorn. Get it right. All right, and we are back for another episode of Polar Opposites, The Melanin Edition, your favorite inner edition. All right, if this is your first time tuning in, hello and welcome to our new shop. I am in the shop. You got like this half head thing going on. I'm scared. I ain't gonna fight you. There you go, whole head. Well, I want to be able to see the thing in the back. Um, Know, this, this is polar opposite, the melanin edition. It's on the wall. You see? Now get in the shot. <laughs> okay, so back to what I was saying. If this is your first time tuning in, hello and welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button that's down below. Sitting below us. Make sure you hit that notification bell that sounds like. But um, so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites, the Melanin Edition, pops up. And for our returning opposite fam, what's up, cuz? Thanks for coming back. All right, so let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is going to be real interesting, and I am excited to do this one. So the topic is, if you are in a serious relationship, should your mate be able to answer your phone? Go ahead and start it off. I want you to start it off. <laughs> I want you to start this one off. Oh, okay. Can you please repeat the question? If you are in a serious relationship, should your mate be able to answer your phone? It's oh, a great question. Uh, the answer is hell no, hell no. It ain't your business who calling. This ain't your phone. You don't pay this bill. Why are you worrying about who calling this phone? You handling your business, it don't matter who hell, it don't matter who calls it. Only thing you need to know is it ain't your ass calling. That's all you need to know. <laughs> wow, you are rude. <laughs> you are rude. It's the truth. This is coming from most guys. Am I saying this is how I personally feel? No. Am I saying this is how all guys personally feel? No. But the a good amount of guys feel this way. Who calling this phone ain't got nothing to do with you. If I put my phone down, you do not need to be right behind me picking it up. That is annoying. When somebody, when I take my phone out to answer a text message and I'm sitting next to you, I don't need that. I don't need that. What the hell you looking at? <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with you. Look at your phone. Look at the phone that you made your bill on. What the hell you looking over here for? I tell you this. Next time she do it, I'm going to tell you what you do. You pull out your phone out to make a text, and this is what you do. <laughs> Stick your damn finger at her ass. You see that? Look at that. That's what you look at. <laughs> All right. So let me give my opinion. If you're not doing anything wrong, if you are being completely transparent and being committed in your relationship, then why wouldn't your significant other be able to answer your phone? You have nothing to hide. I mean, so what's the problem with anybody, anyone else answering your phone? Okay. So, this is how I think. Mm -hmm. Now, it, you say significant other. So, you didn't say wife, so y'all ain't married. Y'all boyfriend and girlfriend. If you are in a committed relationship, it doesn't matter if you're married or not. You, it doesn't you, No, you it said doesn't. that, okay, I'm, I'm with only you. If you're in an exclusive or a committed relationship, you're saying, I'm with you and you only. Need that be a relationship, a marriage, you're engaged, or what? Nope, that's not how I work. See, the problem is with a lot of, well, a lot of relationships they don't succeed is because they do things at the wrong stages in relationships. And I'll go ahead and explain to you what that means. Okay, so you have hunch buddies. That's and, not no, even. No, no, you know what? You're right. So you got friends, you got hunch buddies, 
you got girlfriends, you have fiance, and you have wife. Each level allows different things. So anything below fiance, you don't have access to the phone, you don't have bank account information, you don't have social, you don't have none of that. If I give you all this access to me personally, what do you have to look for as a wife other than the last name and a ring on your finger? You already got access to everything as a girlfriend, so you have no motivation to get to that next level because I'm giving you everything that's supposed to be at that level. I'm giving you to at a level that you shouldn't even have it. That's like getting that's like getting a job that you know damn well you're not qualified for and you okay. cannot do. That's like buying a cow and you get the milk for free. This is what I'm saying. So answering the phone, I mean y'all can do it. You know, it is what it is. Just if you happen if he or she, because it happens too, if he or she goes to the bathroom and a number pop up and it's only emojis. And you answer, understand that when you answer, you not going to like nothing you hear. I'm going to just say this. For all y'all that's not in these committed relationships and you worry about somebody answering your phone, put them on the block list. That they won't show up at all. Oh. And then once you leave them, take them back off. Oh, yeah. And for all y'all that got these, these numbers of these people saved under Papa John's and Pizza Hut. Probably on pizza ain't calling, ain't calling, and they damn sure ain't texting you, especially if you ain't ordered no pizza. So y'all gotta chill with that too. And y'all fuck, and I do want to reach out to all the females. For y'all that think y'all slick, putting your phones on do not disturb. When y'all go see y'all dudes, these dudes know it. Understand that these dudes know that they choose wow. not to say nothing in the guy community. We know that's y'all way of. Hey, don't I'm showing that you don't call while I'm with him. So you put that little circle with the line in between, we see that. We know everybody knows what that is. Use the block list. Take them back off when you leave. But here's the thing, a lot of people don't understand, even though it's on the block list, when that text message or phone call comes in, the phone still do what? Light up. It still lights up. Mr. Numbers. Mr. Numbers still light up. Turn your phone off. Yeah, oh, that's a dead giveaway. Yeah, let me go ahead and put this phone face down. And then you see the light around it. Like, what's going on over there? I don't know, the battery's dying. Uh oh, put it on the charger. No, it's good. I'll charge it when I get home. You see, that's just stupid. You gotta keep it on the charger at least. I, listen, guys and girls. Don't be completely. These people honest. that you're dating is not stupid. So if you're gonna be 100, be 100. Stop all of the other foolishness and, and the BS. Just stop it. That whole. You answering their phone or, or going in their phone, checking their text messages and all that other stuff. Understand, when you do that, you do that at your own risk. So if you find something, you can be mad at them for doing it, but you also need to be mad at yourself for looking. All right, y'all. That's our episode for today. Make sure you comment, you like, you subscribe, you tag a friend, and you tell a friend. Guys, it's King Petty. Worse. Keeping it real. And I guess I'm Patty LaBelle, yes. Yeah. I'm Patty LaBelle. Well, thank you. All right. Peace. See y'all later.